play trade on this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PACB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a very strong move. I can't imagine anybody sitting around arguing and saying that today wasn't a good move. Everybody would agree, good move. But that does bring up you know, the, the logical question, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make answering this question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that level is right here at $4. Why is $4 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $4. Any sort of closes below $4 or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back, not saying, well, but let's just pretend it pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's what truly strong moves do, right? They make progress in the upwards direction. So $4, very important level of support. Ideally speaking, meaning Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? If the price can hold up above $4.25, that would be best case scenario. But if the price does drop below $4.25, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. $4 is definitely that key area. What about levels of resistance? If the price is gonna continue forward, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? For this, we're gonna have to scrunch up the chart here a little bit. Whoops, there we go. Next key level of resistance. Well, maybe it broke through it today, we'll see. No, nope, pretty much sitting right at that level at $4.40. So 4.40, initial area of resistance, and the next key one after that is the famous 200 period simple moving average, which is that uh, denoted by that pink line right there. All in all though, no doubt about it, very, very nice day today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.